Hey everybody, just wanted to take a minute. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I think I'm going to put a quick little video series together on how I make my underquilts. Uh, if somebody wants to try their hand at it and make their own, a um, couple little things to start off that just make it easier. Uh, I, I've seen people tape it to the floor, that works great, but yeah, it kills my back. I want to get up off the ground, but my table's not big enough. So, uh, what I'd ended up doing is I picked up three of these eight foot long one by eights. You lay those on a, even a small table like I've got here. Uh, gives you a nice little work surface. You can move your piece around. Um, as far as making the marks, I've found that this uh, Taylor's chalk works really well. I played around with pencils, different different things. Taylor's chalk is just the cheapest, simplest thing. I got a whole box of it for uh, I don't know five six bucks off of Amazon. Lasts forever. Um, Fabric would be the next thing. Uh, as I go through this process, you know, I don't don't want to cut this. It's always tough to keep it square once you start cutting, especially for width. So we'll use the full width of the fabric as it comes. For length, uh, it depends on what you're looking for. Most people want about a six foot long quilt. So if I need about three inches on each end of that for channels, you know, I'm a little over the two yards. So you got to make a call there of either spring for the extra yard um, so you can do a six foot quilt or just take that down and end up somewhere around five and a half foot, which, uh, you know, personal preference. So, uh, let's move on. I'll show you how I, uh, lay out and get these chalk lines down so we know where to sew. Okay. Here's, uh, the black, which we'll use. This will be the side that touches the hammock, the inside of the quilt. Uh, we want to make sure that we put these on a little bit of a bias as we build these baffles so that, uh, when we look at the inside of the quilt, it's going to be around four and a half inches between the baffles, where on the outside of the quilt, it's going to be about five inches between the baffles, and that'll help give it that natural curve as it goes up around you under the hammock. Uh, this is downproof. You can always tell which side is the side in, because it'll be a little more shiny. So just make all your marks and all your stitches on the shiny side, and you'll, you'll keep that straight. Um, as far as starting that layout, get to the end what I've found that works well is I'll fold it in half and then take the other end and just once I find that center pinch that down make a little line and then I can put some chalk there so we'll start with that all right so there we've made a crease so that when we open this back up you can find that center And then uh, mark it with a little bit of chalk. And we'll work off from that line. Again, now this is the inside. So these will be about four and a half inches. I, I've done enough of these. I actually made up a little jig. Uh, just cut some slits and some cardboard so that I can line that up with the first one. One, baffle two, three, four, five. Keep in mind we're making an under quilt, not something we need to launch into space, so if you're off by a little bit, it's really not the end of the world. And we'll move over to the other side. We'll get our lines off that way. Uh, the reason I start in the middle like this is that way I'm not measuring off an edge. That has a little bit of a difference. It, I take it right out of consideration because everything then is based off a center line on the quilt. Just makes the layout a little quicker. So let me finish putting these lines on and then we'll connect the dots. Okay, we've got them laid out. So quick recap. Keep the width where it is. Length, six inches longer than you want your finished quilt to be. Find your center point. Make, start making uh, lines on each end from there. We need you know, five of these channels because these channels are where they're going to be the tubes that have our down when we get this done. So we need ten of those channels doesn't matter what at this point what we're going to make this into, whether it's a, a summer quilt or a, a deep winter quilt. Everything up to this point is exactly the same. It's just going to change when we determine how wide our baffles are and how much down we put in there. But we've got layouts on both sides. Uh, here's something I was a little concerned about using that Taylor's chalk, that it might brush off or I'd lose it. But that stuff's actually pretty... I've, I put some bad lines down. I had to get a wet washcloth out to get them off. So. I really like that stuff. It's sturdy, it stays on, and 
uh, does its job. So now we're going to move to, uh, let's cut some baffles and get this on.